Ano daw ang magandang gamot sa diabetes? Okay, the most important mineral for diabetes is chromium. So you have to take chromium if you're diabetic. 200 micrograms um, twice a day or three times a day. So it's all good for you. But again, if you are diabetic, kasi before you develop diabetes, you have IGT, di ba? Impaired glucose tolerance. Impaired glucose tolerance. It means you cannot tolerate sugar. So, who can na kumain ng sugar? Ngayon, what happens to the blood if there's maraming maraming sugar? It becomes thick. So, usually yung mga diabetic, they are prone to heart attack. Brain stroke, heart stroke. So, yung mata nila, pwede rin silang mabulag. So, it's really bad. Sugar is really bad for us. Okay? So, mas maganda, huwag ka na rin kumain na matatamis. So, when you talk about sugar, there's so many types of sugars. There are sugars from uh, fruits. Okay? So, pati sugar from fruits, hindi rin talaga maganda. Tapos, you have sugar from milk. So, hindi rin siya maganda. So, Especially the sugar, the processed sugar. So, hindi siya talaga maganda sa atin. So, do not eat all of these foods. Even without all of your medication, you will be fine. Diabetes, I have discussed it. I have discussed this condition for several videos already. And I already told the people that if you're diabetic, it's a lifestyle disease. So, you really have to change your lifestyle. And of course, you have to take chromium, magnesium, Okay, zinc, even zinc, you can take zinc, uh, molybdenum. So these are just the minerals that you can take if you're diabetic. For the plants, insulin plants, serpentina plant, just if you can eat them, that's good. If not, you can just drink them. So drink it three times a day. And of course, exercise, you know, they're very important. It improves your glucose inside the body. Mm. Okay, apple cider vinegar also very good for diabetic. People. What is the suggestion for diabetes and doing dialysis two times a day? Now, for diabetes, again, you have to change your diet, okay? Hindi po kayo, this oh, is what sure. I always tell them, you know. Uh, when I was in Phil, I was consulting with patients. I always tell them, it's like you have to see sugar at a different uh, angle, okay? You see it, it's like you're allergic. To sugar. So, kailangan talaga yun ang iniisip mo. So, do not take, do not touch it, do not take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huwag nyo nang masyadong tinitingnan, sabi ko nga sa kanila. So, because that's that's the primary cause, that's a culprit. Ano? So, do not take a lot of uh, sugar if you're diabetic. And chromium can help, chromium. And also, again, serpentina, insulin plant. And, um, Magnesium, magnesium can help. Now, for the dialysis, okay, I do not advise anyone to stop their dialysis, okay? You decide. Hindi po ko magdi-decide. I'm not gonna be the one to decide it for you, but you, you yourself will decide if you wanna stop it. Now, if you ask me, if you ask me, Doctora, do you know anyone who stopped the, doing the dialysis? Yes, I know a lot of uh, friends who have stopped uh, doing their dialysis, but I do not advise it, okay? You decide for your own, okay? So, that's it. And then you take for the dialysis for CKD, baking soda, again, one teaspoon three times a day. If you're diabetic, the most common cause of anemia is actually a problem in the kidneys kasi ang, ang diabetes yan yung unang-una niyang inaatake inaatake niya yung puso so you will have a heart attack inaatake, inaatake niya yung ating ugat papunta sa brain so you can also have a brain stroke sometimes tapos na, naka, nararamdaman ninyo tiba yung mga kamay ninyo it's called peripheral neuropathy so again also in the kidneys it's called chronic kidney disease so you have five stages okay so stage one two three four five so pagka mga stage one two and three usually makikita mo tumataas lang yung kanyang creatinine ano 
Pero nakakaihi pa yung mga yan, okay? Tapos, pag dumating na siya doon sa stage 5, usually, wala na siyang urine output, ano? And it's very difficult on that uh, stage, okay? So, pagka nandun pa tayo sa mga earlier stages, just change the diet. Um, it's better not to take a lot of foods that are sweet, okay? And again, this is what I'm trying to tell patient para ma-ingrain ma ninyo sa mga pag-iisip ninyo, allergic kayo sa matamis, sa masarap. So, do not eat foods that are easily converted to sugar. Usually, mga simple carbohydrates like rice, pasta, bread, you know, magalit na kayo sa akin, but that's really the reality of it. Hindi ko kayo talaga pwedeng kumain ng mga matatamis. Even fruits, the fruits that are usually very high in sugar, yung mga matatamis, yung mga very uh, hinug na hinog, ano, like mangga, yan, gustong gusto natin yung mangga, they're very bad for us if you're diabetic, okay? So, the first thing to do is to change your diet. Second is lifestyle changes as well. So, exercise, exercise lang because some exercises they have uh, in research, it has been proven um, to improve, okay, the, the glucose level in the body, okay? So, sometimes nga, after the, after the exercise, yung blood sugar natin, they come down, okay? So, that's very good for us, exercise, okay? Second is apple cider vinegar, yeah, this can help. Uh, serpentina, insulin plant, ano? Um, usually garlic, ginger, this can help as well. Ano? Actually, marami. Meron pa nga yung tamarind, mango leaves, you know, tamarind leaves, mango leaves, you know, this can all help you. Um, when it comes to minerals, the best is actually um, chromium and magnesium. So, they can really help you. Now, Boston Sea can help as well because it has a lot of micronutrients and my favorite, of course, pixie dust. So... Thank you.